Hello, hello, and welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am here today, and we are going to be talking about, does weight loss seem elusive for you? And I love this topic because a lot of the women that I talk to, they just think that weight loss seems really elusive. Like they can't figure it out. Like some people can just like wish the pounds to disappear and like poof, you know, they're down in inches and in weight and everything. And, you know, you as a person who think it's elusive, you keep hoping that the next diet will be like rabbit ears, the one, right? And that one diet that literally tips the scales and you get to go merrily along in living in your dream body, but it never happens for you. It never happens because you're choosing a diet first. You're choosing to be rigid, restrictive in a way that you truly do not want to be in the first place. Think about that. No one gets excited about going on a diet. (laughs) Like, yes, sign me up for food that I don't want to eat or meal schedule that I don't want to stick to or a calorie frame that I don't want to do. No one says that. You pick a diet because you think it'll work, period. And when it doesn't, you think, well, I must have picked the wrong diet. No, that's not it. Yet you keep trying all the diets. You're asking your friends, what are they doing? What's working for you? How are you doing this? You keep searching and searching on the internet for the answer. You may download an app that's free or really low cost that you think that's going to give you accountability. You may join a gym where you really have no idea of which machine or free weights you need to use. So you just stick to cardio machines or you go to a gym that gives you such a beat down that you can't move for the next week. And you secretly dread going back because you know, no pain, no gain. It's bull malarkey. Stop telling yourself this. You keep telling yourself the same thing. This is going to work. This is going to work. This is going to work. If you have tried all these things and you still aren't seeing any weight changes or you're seeing changes, but you're miserable in what you're doing, you need to go back to the beginning of this journey. And that happens between your ears, your mindsets. The diet and fitness industry has taught you and everybody else a certain way to lose weight. And it can be effective if, and that's a big if, only if you have the right mindset in place. And quite honestly, after all the hundreds of women, that women, not women's, <laughs> women, I have helped over the years, that right mindset sets isn't even on their radar. I know when I first started Shape It Up back in 2006, I did not know that mindset piece. I wish I had, I wish I did, but I for sure knew to work out hard with a ton of efforts and log your food and find a diet and count those calories. Again, these actions do work, but they don't work long-term. You don't want to be on a diet for the rest of your life. You don't want to be doing grueling workouts for the rest of your life. If you're over 40, which I'm pretty sure you are either close to or over, and you're listening to this podcast, you got to preserve your body. I'm not saying that if you like to do hard workouts, not to do them. I'm just saying you don't have to if you don't want to. There's an easier way. And I can guess that you probably feel fantastic when you've achieved that weight loss goal that you hit when you were following some diet. You know, when you see the numbers on the scale go down or or the workout program, but you feel like utter crap. And when you gain it back, it's even worse because quote unquote, you fell off the wagon. There is no wagon. You It's that cycle of like, yes, I'm on a diet. Yes, I'm seeing some changes. And then 
either you think something happens or whatever, you fall off the wagon, a holiday happens, a summer happens, a birthday, who knows? Then you get into this cycle of like, crap, what do I do now? I'm gaining weight. I better find a diet again. It's miserable. I know you want to stop this cycle, but you just don't think there's an answer. I promise you there is. You don't have to be on that cycle in order to lose weight permanently. I know you want to feel great in your body all year round, not just in those glimpses that you have when your diet is on point and in check. And you don't want to feel the pressure or the nervousness about squeezing into a bathing suit or short sleeve shirts. You know, that pressure happens as soon as spring starts and starts teasing us with good weather. You know, like I'm in New Jersey, the weather is starting to change. Guarantee you there's some women out here and the East Coast that are like, uh oh, summer's around the corner. You don't have to live your life like that. When clients come to me on their discovery call to find out more about working with me, I love the looks that I get on the calls. When I tell them that you can lose weight while you eat your favorite foods, while you're doing things that you love to do with a minimal time commitment, the look of, is this possible? Like their mouth is open, their eyes are wide, like, like I'm speaking another language to them. And I am. I am speaking another language to you. The language you've learned about losing weight is not working for you, but there is a way. And yes, it is possible to lose weight without restriction, without sacrifice, without dieting, counting calories or food logging, without spending hours and hours working out. And I say yes to them. Yes, it is truly possible. I'm saying that to you now. Believe me, it is so possible. I speak from personal experience. I used to be the person that food logged who worked out really hard. And yes, my body would get to the point, but I was miserable. I was miserable. I don't want to food log for the rest of my life. I worked with clients, same thing, same thing. The mindset is the key. I've done it. My clients have done it. The, my clients now, let me rephrase that. I have shifted from the mindset of dieters mentality of doing lots of workouts, food logging, doing a diet, that kind of thing, to shifted to really understanding how the mindset works. And the process that I teach now is so super simple. It even blows my mind, just to be honest with you, a couple of times, because I'm like, wow, it is really that simple. I've done it. My clients have done it. They lose weight effortlessly. It's easy, it's doable, and you can do it too. My clients spend time unlearning what they think they know, what they've been taught. We dive into why you think losing weight is hard and why you think it'll never happen for you. You learn how to fuel your body and still eat all the foods you love. You learn how to move your body so it's healthy and strong so you can do things that you love, like hiking, walking with friends, traveling, skiing, walking on the beach, searching for seashells with your grandkids, whatever floats your boat. So I want to leave this takeaway with you. Do you think you can lose weight? If the answer is yes, then why haven't you? If the answer is no, get curious about that. Why do you think that is? If you would like help, losing weight for the last time in an easy and doable manner, reach out and schedule your discovery call with me today. On this call, you're gonna find out what is blocking you from getting the results you want. Just being on this call with me will give you perspective of when you will lose weight, not if you will lose weight. On the call, we're gonna talk about working together and what that would look like for you. If you are a hell yes, we will get started right then on the call. And if you are no, that's absolutely fine too. You get to decide if you want to continue to question if this will ever happen for you or decide to go in 100% all in on you and commit to when you lose weight for the last time. I have appointments open today for your discovery call. So let's get you started on losing the weight for the last time. Go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call 
C-A-L-L-F-N there and book your first life-changing call with me today. Have a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon.